I am Parag Tiwari, uh, project manager here at Akash Lab. I chiefly handle proximity, proximity activities here. And, uh, yeah, it gives me and my entire team uh, intense great pleasure to be part of this Akash initiative to empower students and teachers through technology. And we foresee a near future where every Indian student will have a Akash computing device in their hands. And I take this opportunity to invite you all to collaborate with us in building innovative educational applications that will excite and challenge young minds and become technology leaders of tomorrow. Giving you an outline, I'll uh, like to introduce my developer team to you all here on this side. Yeah, this is the team. Okay, the next one hour presentation uh, we have divided into four parts of 10 to 15 minutes duration each. The first session is about the proximity software tool itself given by Ajay. Uh, proximity is a tool which takes pre recorded lecture videos and the associated slides and synchronizes them on the video timeline and also groups the related slides in. Uh, themes for easier navigation. This proximity tool has three modes of publish. One is the desktop mode, the other is the web mode, and the third one is uh, the Android environment for the Akash tablet. So Ajay will give you a demonstration of the tool itself, how the lectures are edited, the slides are synchronized with the video. After that, the second session would be proximity on the Akash tablet. This is the published lectures through proximity uh, as viewed on the tablet. This will be presented by Pradnya. The third session would be given by Ninad. He will uh, tell you about the repositories from where you can download the proximity tool and the other versions of publish and how to install proximity on the tablet itself. And the final presentation is by the Oscar team. These are educational animations, very interesting animations using Blender and open source tool. This will be given by Nitin. Okay, so let us begin this presentation by calling Ajay on here. Uh, good morning to all. My name is Ajay Babar and I am working on an Akash project. So firstly, I will start with the introduction of proximity and then I will give you the demonstration of how this software works. So, what is the proximity? The proximity serves as a proxy that is it provides us the virtual closeness without attending the actual classroom. That is it gives us the feeling like we are attending the lectures in a classroom. And the MITI stands for the multimedia integration tool for you as you can see in a slide. Next. So, the major thing about this tool is that it is an open source software and therefore anyone can download it, modify it and use it to create an interactive lessons. The second thing is that the, this software allows all the popular video formats like WMV, AVI, FLV, MPEG, MP4 and therefore we do not need any video format conversion. Using this software we can create or professor or teacher can create interactive lectures using by synchronizing the lecture video with its respective slides according to the timeline information with respect to the video. So that was the introduction part of the proximity. Now I will show you the demonstration of the proximity tool. I am going to show you the how to edit the lecture and publish it. So, this is our proximity tool. In the upper side, we have the different menus. For creating a new project, we will go to the file. We have the new project and exit menu. So, for creating a new project, we will go to the new project. 
here you can see the new project window of our proximity tool. So, this, uh, this frame shows the video player and in which we are going to load our lecture video. Now, this rectangle, this frame shows, uh, is, uh, this frame is a slide show which shows the slide at a one time, uh, at a time. And this frame, this frame uh, shows all the thumbnails of the slides which we are going to import from the hard disk. And now this, this frame, using this frame we can create the links for extra reference. And this frame uh, shows the binding information or a timing information of the slides. There are four steps to how to use this software. Firstly, import the videos and slides. Second, bind it or synchronize it with respect to the timeline information with respect to the video and then publish it and then uh, view the lecture. Now, for importing the lecture video, we will go to the import, main video, hard disk. So, this is your, uh, uh, this is the file explorer of your computer, select the video. So, this is the video, we are going to load it. So, click on a load. Now, you will get the message as the video has been loaded. Click it on OK. Then, similarly, we will import all the slides related to that lecture video. So, this is your uh, uh, file explorer. Select all the slides. Now, for the demonstration purpose, I am selecting some random slides. So, uh, as you can see, uh, on the slide thumbnails tab, all the th thumbnails of the slides has loaded. Now, uh, when you click on uh, uh, and uh, you can click on any one of the thumbnail. So, click it on. So, the slide show frame shows the thumbnail in a bigger size. And this is the first slide we are going to bind it with a, uh, with a video. So, here we have a start time button. When we, uh, when uh, I will click on start time button, it will capture the starting time of this slide that is introduction to SQL. So, when I click on a start time button, video will also start. Click on end time to capture the ending time. So, here uh, you can see uh, we got the details of uh, timing, uh, we got the timing information of uh, synchronization. Uh, theme name, we, we have the theme. Uh, theme is a basically a collection of related slides grouped under one. And uh, the next one we have the slide name here, the slide name, which is the name of the slide start time, which is, the start, which is the starting time of that slide and the end time, which is the ending time of the slide. So, you can see that introduction to SQL will be played between the starting time 0 0 0 and ending time 2 minute 50 second and after that it will disappear. That is it will move to the next slide. Like that I will bind or synchronize some slides. I have selected the history, click on start time, drag the slider uh, to go to the particular ending time, click on end time to capture the ending time. Like that I will bind some more slides. Uh, for the demonstration purpose, uh, 
uh, I am binding only four slides. Uh, now you can see here that you you have got the all the details of the uh, uh, slides of the uh, bindings. Uh, that is, uh, we have the theme, slide names, and start time and end time, as explained earlier. So I can edit the theme name by clicking by double clicking on it and uh, I will write the theme name as introduction I will do for the second and the rest of rest of the two slides. So, here you can see uh, the introduction has appeared for two times that means the the two slides belongs to the one topic introduction that is one theme name. So, we also have the delete button if you done some mistake uh, we can delete the sum row and add it again. Now, we will create some links for extra reference. We can give any link which we, uh, it can be open uh, or document PDF or uh, we can give any uh, web address. Now, I am uh, now I have given the link name as SQL PDF and uh, now I am giving its URL. Now, I will click on add button you can see that the link has created. Now, before publishing or before finalizing our editing, we will go for the preview mode uh, to check uh, whether we did correctly or not, whether we have synchronized correctly or not. So, we will go to the mode preview. So, this is uh, the preview mode of our proximity tool. You can see the links that we have just created. This is the themes and the respective slides in a tree structure format. So, for starting the video click on a play button, video has been started and you, uh, you can notice that we have synchronized the video with the slides. The video is also jumping to the respective time. So, I am assuming that uh, I have edited correctly. Now, I will go to go back to the project mode that is editing mode. Here, I can again add some more slides, I can again edit. Now, I will publish the lecture, go to the pub publish, publish menu, go to the desktop and this is the window for entering the details of uh, currently editing lecture. So, uh, we have the course name, I will write it as DBMS that is a database management system. Uh, presentation on SQL. Lecture title is introduction to SQL. Speaker, sp speaker of this lecture, a professor, any professor and the contact can be the email ID. click on OK and save the project where you want to save that is select the directory this is your file explorer of your computer. Give the project name and save it. Now open the saved project where you have saved.
click on a test multiplayer dot jar file. Now, this is the desktop version of our proximity tool. Now, the lecture has started. You can see the tree structured uh, themes and slides. In the upper side, we have all the details what we have filled just now. So, this is the themes and its respective I slides. Wrap up the relation you can see process. that the some th uh, uh, some themes we have divided in one topic and you can you can also notice that we have synchronized the lecture now this is the uh, this window will be uh, uh, will be visible to the end user or or to the professor who wants to view the lecture but the standard today is use n char or n characters from all uh, we also have the sql pdf link and uh, it will op uh, open in an appropriate application. You can again play. So, if you want to do local language work, use that. But again, database is implemented differently, for example. So, this was uh, the desktop version of our proximity. Now, I will show you the web version of our proximity, which we have built using or which we have developed using the HTML5. Uh, let us assume that we have uh, some already edited lecture in uh, uploaded on a server and uh, we are going to find one lecture from the server using this utility. Uh, you can see we have the title proximity and uh, we have the search box. and we can enter the keywords related to that lecture. So, I will write aerospace. You can see there are autocoming options. I will select one of them. Now, we got the three result and we can click any one of them. So, I am clicking any one of them lecture and one more thing we can also filter this result by entering the some more keywords like suppose I am entering the part now it will again give me the options I will select the part 2 you can see I got the result of the combination of aerospace and the thumbnail uh, turbines part 2. So, I will click on lecture. You can see this is our uh, web version of proximity. Click on a play. The lecture has played. Now, uh, typically what happens the flow gets you can so navigate through the slides. And finally, um, you know, we could go to shocking rotor. What people? Uh, these are the tip layers. The similar thing. Uh, now you notice that the uh, slides are coming in the video also. So for that, we have updated our uh, and the energy loss this web version to to this uh, look and feel. There is so which is the uh, here we have only video. We do not have any slides. Click on a play. We can navigate through the slides. We also have the starting time and ending time. So, this is uh, our uh, web version. I am giving you the uh, download links of uh, this software. So, we are welcoming you to download the proximity and use it to create an interactive lesson. Okay. So, we have the two links for the desktop version and for the uh, web version of our proximity. Okay.